Hi everyone, it's Dees from Turtle Dove. Hope everyone's doing really well. I have a big BB craft haul for you today. I ordered some items three weeks ago and I think that's pretty good that it only took three weeks to get to Australia. So let's start with the haul. Um, this is from Envy's and they are charms and I really love how they package everything too now this isn't sponsored or anything I, I ordered this um, using my own money now these are pretty little shell charms and they have little faux pearls in there and blues and apricots and pinks, blacks, white, sort of enameled on the inside. So, but it looks really pretty. <coughs> and they, they do package them well. Uh, they had bubble wrap over everything, and all these were um, wrapped in some plastic bags as well. So, I just did that ahead of time. Otherwise, half of the video you'll be spending watching me unpack everything. Now these are some glass beads. And again, a nice box. And I forget what these are called. Um, I think they're the spray painted look. Very pretty in all the colours. And they sort of look like they've been sprayed a little bit with some of some shininess there with a bit of gold through them. I don't know if well this this is actually blue and purple. Very pretty. Let's see the other colour. Let's see this red one. These are red and it has a little bit of gold speckles. Sort of looks like it's been spray painted just roughly in some places and this one is the clear with a bit of pink and gold looking spray on there very pretty I love the glass beads so I've got that then I got these acrylic bows it's a nice size as well and I don't know why but I've got these two with it so maybe because I spent so much they gave me extra I'm not sure because there's still a lot of room to put more in so I don't think it was a matter of there weren't enough I don't know if they go by weight or the amount sometimes they go by weight and then other times you get the amount so anyway they're pretty they've got lots of nice colors in those And I've got, um, just looking at the holes, so you don't have to use them as beads, you can use them as an embellishment, stick them on the project. But the hole's quite big, so you can put some wool through that if you wanted to, or cotton or something. So there's that, and I've got some Panda Hall Elite jump rings. I think this is 9 karat gold plated or gold plated and I've got a little ring with it and that helps to open up the jump ring so I've got different sizes size out of a lot of hardware and they're very hard to find at Spotlight and there's not many other places I can go to, to look for jewellery um, beads and findings and such so there's that and the panda ball again I've got some rose charms and got them in the bronze the white gold and a yellow gold a silver See the rose there? So I've got quite a few of this. This is a yellow gold 
and just the rose gold. I fit quite a lot in these boxes. <coughs> then I got from Benny, Cri Benny Create some jewellery findings. These are spaces. They've got a pretty little pattern around the outside. Let's take it out and not be able to see that better through, through there. And again, Benny Create some ball spaces, bead spaces, in the different sizes. So they've got a really small and then they just go up in size to the biggest. I find I go through those a lot too, and I don't do have a real lot of those bead spaces. And then I've got some head pins. I go through those a lot as well. I like using a mixture of the eye and head and the ball. I think I've still got some ball pins. Then a uh, panda haul of leech. I bought um, a container full of different coloured jump rings. So the tarnished silver to the white, all the way down the copper and bronze, white gold, yellow gold, and another ring. So I'm set up as far as jump rings are concerned. Now I forget what you call these, but they come in the bronze, silver, gold and black. And you can make journals or pads with them. What like little white pads with the holes and just slip them through. Got some acrylic leaf beads and these have an iridescent finish to them. They're very pretty. You can get carried away when you go on the site. You just want to buy everything, don't you? Look at that, and the pinks and the greens and the purples, oranges, very pretty, make a nice sound too, very light, but not weighty at all. Then I've got some of these acrylic rose charms, and these are quite big. in all the colours. Look at the green. Isn't that pretty? Again with the large holes so you can put um, like the wool, different yarns, thread through them too. It's like all my Christmases will come at once when I get a order from the BB Craft. And I've wanted this quite a while. These are, I think they're called ball pins. And again, loving the container that they they put them in. Oh, I'm not going to open it anymore because I've opened it the wrong way. I thought I that was what was happening. There we go. That was lucky. Would have taken me hours to go through and all um, sort these out. <laughs> but look at that. So you got all the golds, the metallics, it's a green and um, purple metallic and then just the other colours, matte colours, but you've got all the colours you can think of and there's plenty of each colour so I'm going to be set for a long time. I'm glad that they've got a green in the metallic. beads with the big mixture so I need to buy a nice container for these 
and I've got some smoky beads amongst it. And look at these. Fuck, there's a white bead over the acrylic colour. And some rings. Again, it's like a white bead inside the orange acrylic outer shell. Frosted beads. There's butterflies. Look at these. That's a beautiful iridescence to it. And there's a blue one. So I've got that. And there's stars in there and bows and all sorts. Butterflies. I'm just going to try and shut this because I do not want them rolling out of the bag all over the place. So I'm definitely going to have to buy something big to put these in. Maybe put them in a tin or something. Now these um, are slightly different to this, but I don't know why that I didn't see that online that they were very similar. There's a few things that are the same, but then a lot of things that are different. Um, so they have the square beads. Well, that one's not square, sort of squarish. And I've got the bows. The hearts. I think they have hearts in this one too, so and the roses are the same, but there's a few that are different, so maybe looking at it online it did look a lot different. But if I hadn't known that they they look so much similar in real life, I probably wouldn't have gotten two of them, but I will still make good use of this and of course I can share it and yeah, I just love how they package everything. So that's it. That's my BB craft haul. Um, there's a couple more things that I'd like to get, but I'll probably leave it for a couple of months. And then, um, yeah, mostly hardware and things like that I like to get from there because you can get a lot of them for quite cheap compared to buying for, from Spotlight here in Australia. And half the time, Spotlight doesn't have what you you um, you need in stock and I remember I wanted some rose gold head pins and they had one packet left but it was all tarnished um, and you would think that they would get rid of that that's not no one's going to buy that so anyway so that's it guys that's my BB craft haul thanks for watching look after yourselves a happy crafty day and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.